I'm playing at Ground Zero Airsoft UK, currently positioned at the Stag Camp Base. I am using my custom M4. It shoots 320 feet a second with a 0.2 gram BB and has a rate of fire of 28 rounds a second. This is the view from the head cam of my buddy Aikido Dan, and that's me in front there. I'm now using my TM417, it shoots 340 feet a second with a 0.2 gram BB and has a more realistic rate of fire of 11 rounds a second. We're playing at one of Ground Zero Airsoft UK Sunday games. The Sunday games have a free roam style where there are missions kicking off throughout the day and it's up to you to get yourself in position for the missions at the correct times. This free roam style is interesting, perhaps a step more in the Milsim direction than your average airsoft site, however this is not full Milsim. Um, but the free roam style does offer some very unique gameplay where enemy players can come from anywhere at any time. Okay, this is late in the afternoon. I've managed to get split up from everyone. There's a mission about to be dropped at the base near me. It's once again stair camp. Uh, once the objective is dropped, whichever team collects the objective has to take that objective to another base, Firebase Charlie, in approximately 30 minutes time in order to cash it in. As I'm approaching the stair camp, I notice it's pretty quiet. So I'm going to try and uh, scope it out before moving into the base. I'm in the bushes on this side of the base. And I happen to notice an enemy player in one of the huts at the base. Yeah, I missed. Fucking Neo there just matrixed my shot. Right, back into the bush. I don't think he saw me. I think he was just shooting it where he heard my gun fire. You know, the gun's pretty loud. That's why I've just taken one shot and gone straight back into the bush. But what I'm going to do now is stay a little bit away from the base, stay near the main road, and look out for people coming up the main road or in the bushes near the main road. If I see enemy, I'm going to shoot them. If I see friendly, I'm going to join them. But it doesn't take too long before I see a couple of enemy. Bit of a delay on that second hit call, but we got there in the end. They were actually moving away from the base, they're probably already going to position themselves in the next base at Charlie, which means the objective's probably already been dropped. But I wait a few minutes before moving, just in case there's quite a lot of enemy about, because I didn't see any friendlies, only enemies, and then I decide to go through the base to clear it out, in case there's a couple of enemy stragglers left behind. I right, saw so one enemy immediately, there could be others around, gotta be careful now. I'm going through the base, just come out of the bush from this side, I'm going to go right through the huts. Make sure there's no one in these huts. And into the bush on the other side of the base. And yeah, looks like it was clear, I only saw that one guy, no one else. Okay, this is about 10-15 minutes later, I've managed to regroup with about 8 or so of teammates. Uh, we're in the trees, not too far from uh, Firebase Charlie. And we happen to notice an objective in the trees with us. About 30 metres in front of us. It's got to be enemy team nearby. They've just collected that objective from Stag Camp a minute ago, but they can't take it to Firebase Charlie yet, as the blue team controls the Firebase. They need to clear out the Firebase before they can take it in there. Which means that they're staying in these trees with the objective, possibly using it as a trap for us at the moment. Yeah, it seems like they are using it as a trap, so we're approaching very cautiously. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, I've taken out a couple of enemies now. Some of my friendlies have also taken out a couple of enemies. Hopefully we've taken out all the ones that have set the trap for us. I'm now moving up towards the objective. Got my teammates watching my back. Hopefully there's no more enemies. I've gone right up to it. I've collected it. And now, in order to cash this objective in, I have to take it to Firebase Charlie, and we've got to keep it with us there and secure it for another 10-15 minutes or so. Not taking any more contact, so I think we might have cleared out the enemies from this area. And 
and we successfully get the objective into Firebase Charlie with no contact. What we've got to do now is keep it here for 5-10 minutes or so until the end of the game and we can cash this objective in and get the points. But yeah, we didn't get any more uh, contact or very little contact, but we were easily able to keep the objective secure in the base until the end of the game day. So, another successful mission completed and another day well spent playing Airsoft. Thanks for watching, take it easy.